We are reconvening from the workshop. This is the Tuesday, May 11th, 2021, GBC EDC uh, meeting. Uh, call this meeting to order. I'm going to reestablish a quorum from my left, please. Wyrick here. Foster here. Kyle here. Lawrence here. All here. Collard here. Johannes here. We have the same quorum, seven out of seven. Item two, we did in the beginning of the workshop, we'll skip. Item three, citizens comments, limited to three minutes. Uh, Mr. Secor, do we have any citizens comments? Nothing Okay, no citizens comments. Item four, adoption of minutes from April 15th, 2021 and April 22nd, 2021, special meeting. May I have a motion, please? Motion to accept the minutes as presented. Is that Mr. Johannes? Yes, Johannes. Moved by Mr. Johannes. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, is that Mr. Wyrick? Mr. Wyrick, second. Thank you. Uh, motion and second. Discussion? There's two points that I'm not quite sure about. On item number seven. Which, that, which meeting are you? Which it, minutes? We're on the April 15th. And item number seven was that we had a clean audit that Ms. Cooper was very proud of. Ms. Ball asked me to look at that, and I found a couple of discrepancies in it, and I, we just, and I think she said she has discussed it with Ms. Cooper, but there was a couple of serious problems. Some dates were incorrect, but more important, it says we were collecting lease income from the city of Gun Barrel City for Brenner Hall. That should have been removed years ago. So we need to show that, that uh, those corrections need to you be You must made. not have a copy of the final audit because I brought that to her attention and she took it out. All I saw was a draft. And that's what you told us we had was from a draft. So I'm just stating the obvious. From so the those, draft, there was mistakes. Those two items have been corrected, Ms. Cooper? We had a clean audit, yes. That was her error, not ours, and it was corrected. But the Brenner Hall and the dates have been corrected? Uh, I don't know what the date was that you're talking about because she did not mention any dates being incorrect. She compared one year to the next and used the same year. It's a typo. Oh, well, I think corrected that's probably okay. Okay, so those two items have been corrected. Okay. And then on number 14. Same date? Uh-huh. That's where we discuss the software. I believe part of the motion was that I had asked that uh, Ms. Johannes get with the city manager to make sure there was no conflicts in software. And there is not. Well, I'd asked Ms. Johannes to do that, so I was expecting that to be in the minutes, not just truncated and disappear. That's just so that needs to be added. Editing these minutes, I think, is a problem. Well, you are welcome to amend the minutes and put that in there, Joe. That's your prerogative. Well, I don't think they should have been edited to begin with, is my point. What do you mean edited? If items are missing, it has been removed, and I call that editing. Removed from what? Our minutes. You're saying that, that you're request and Ms. Johannes' agreement to check with the city was not mentioned in the minutes and it should have been? Correct. Okay. Uh, could oh. we... Could All we right. Well, we're happy to add that and that it has been done. Okay. That we'll amend the minutes that way. Uh-huh. Okay. And Ms. Johannes did check with and we're uh, good. Jeff and everything's good. Okay. Good. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we will vote to approve, uh, to adopt the minutes from April 15th and April 22nd, 2021, regular and special meeting. Vote for my right, please. As amended. As amended. As, as amended, thank you. Johannes, yes. Collard, yes. Ball, yes. Lawrence, yes. Kyle, yes. Foster, yes. Wyrick, yes. Motion passes. Item five, adoption of March financials. May I have a motion, please? Make a motion to adopt March financials. Second. 
Wait, what happened to April 22nd? Minutes. We did them as a line item. We did it together. The, the motion was to approve the, to adopt. Well, my mistake. I'm going to ask that that be reopened and a, one more correction made, and that's on the 22nd, April. There are date under C, under line item 5, which is supposed to be 2021, and that's just a basic typo. Pardon? For the rest of this fiscal year ending in September 2021, it says ending in September 2020. Typo. Robin. Robin, did you get that? Thank you. Anything else? No. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll need to revote. So, uh, motion is to adopt the April 15th and April 22nd uh, uh, minutes as uh, amended as a and uh, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll vote for my right, please. Excuse me, I need clarification. Where was the 2020 stated? It's uh, item 5C at the bottom of the page. It says... Is that Mr. Kyle's comments? It is. Okay, Mr. Kyle's comments were done verbatim. From your note, you said 2020. I That's said it may be a typo, but from the one I read, it said... 2021. So I am correcting it. Okay. Thank you. There well, were other typos in that too, in that. Um, well, that's a major one. Okay. Okay. Well, trying to move on. Uh, vote for my right, please. Johannes, yes. Collard, yes. Ball, yes. Lawrence, yes. Kyle, yes. Walsh, yes. Lyric, yes. Okay. So there's a motion on the floor to adopt the March financials. Motion made by Mr. Foster, is that correct? Wyrick. Mr. Wyrick and seconded by Mr. Foster. Yes. Okay. Discussion? You happy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hearing no discussion, we'll vote for my right. Johannes, yes. Collard, yes. Ball, yes. Lawrence, yes. Kyle, yes. Walster, yes. Wyrick, yes. Motion passes. Item six, discuss and or take action on moving $500,000 from Techstar to Southside Bank in order to earn more interest. May I have a motion, please? Motion to discuss moving uh, $500,000 from Techstar into um, Southside Bank. I have a motion by Ball. Do I have a second? Second. Second by, is that Mr. Wyrick? Was that you, Mr. Wyrick? Yes. Okay, second by Wyrick. Uh, motion and second to discuss moving the money from Techstar to Southside Bank. Discussion? Well, this becomes the area where we should label this as old business or unfinished business. At this time, we have no reason to move funds between accounts. And it was tabled and it was tabled that said the treasurer would have to become the signatory before we could move forward. And I don't believe that's happened at this time. I have signed the card for that, and I don't know if everyone else has. Yeah, I did. That has been submitted to Techstar. It's all been taken care of. We have the seal on, everything's done. And I am quite comfortable that Techstar will be very happy to have Susan's signature there. And then um, have we set up a meeting with Techstar to explain historically the state of Texas uses money in Techstar as its long-term investment? So that would be... Sir, we don't need a meeting. We can either decide that we are going to transfer this money or we are not. Thank you, Ms. We're Cooper. Mr. Kyle's question is, have we set up that meeting? And to my knowledge, we have not. Is that correct? Right. Correct. We have not. Okay. Susan, could you reach out to the Techstar people and have them make arrangements for them to do a presentation and explain their interest rate? And then we can compare that to Southside Bank. Um, this is not a take action. It's tabled currently. Uh, we can leave it tabled or I will entertain a motion to approve the move of this money. Anybody? Hearing no motion, it will stay tabled until we set up that meeting. Um, 
Mr. Kyle, your other point was this should be on the agenda as old business. If it's it tabled, tabled, it should be unfinished business or old business. Therefore, if it said that, I would have brought supporting documentation on all of these items with me to review. So we do not call anything old business or new business on our agenda. But you can have unfinished business unless you're presenting all new materials. And the way this is presented, I looked for supporting documents on most of the agenda items that come after this. I know you believe that we have done it incorrectly. However, this meeting is being held for the third time, and it would really be beneficial if we could just move ahead. Okay, the uh, item is tabled. Item seven, discuss, take action on EDC committees. Uh, that is something that I asked to be put on as discuss, take action last month. It, uh, there was a miscommunication there. Um, what I'm proposing here is now that we've got the bylaws uh, done and the bylaw comparison done, I propose that, and I'm going to ask for a motion here in a minute, I propose that we dissolve the bylaw review committee and the standing governance committee that is headed by the vice president per the bylaws. There's been some difference of opinion of who should be on the governance committee. Uh, I don't even know where the term governance came from, but my thought is here, it has never been my intent nor this board's intent to slide anyone or to omit anyone from a committee. And there are, there are several people that felt uh, Ms. Johannes should be on the governance committee, which I viewed as different than the bylaw review committee. But my initial thought was that that governance committee was formed and Ms. Johannes was put on it and I was on it as the vice president. Since that time, officers have changed. I am president, Mr. C Mr. Foster is vice president. So when the need arose to review the bylaws, per the 2019 bylaws that we are currently operating under, Mr. Foster as vice president was head of that committee. Also per the 2019 bylaws that we are currently under obligation to operate under, Mr. Kyle, Mr. Foster, excuse me, the vice president chose his own committee. So uh, I want to publicly apologize to Ms. Johannes if she felt slighted. She's never told me she did. Other people have told me she, she possibly did. Uh, Ms. Johannes, if you felt slighted, I apologize. That was not my intent. It has never been my intent to uh, omit anyone from any committee uh, it is my stance that the bylaw review committee was formed in accordance with the 2019 bylaws and Mr. Foster as vice president was head of that committee. That all said, I will entertain a motion to immediately dissolve the bylaw review committee and the governance committee as anyone sees them stand right now with the understanding that any committee can be reestablished upon need. Do I have a motion to that effect? Motion, uh, Collard, motion to dissolve the bylaw review committee and the governance committee. Motion by Ms. Collard. Do I have a second? Ball second. Ms. Ball second. Do I have discussion on that? Hearing none, I will vote from my left. Wyrick, yes. Ball three, yes. Kyle, yes. Orange, yes. Ball, yes. Color, yes. Johannes, yes. Thank you. The motion passes. Item eight, discuss and or take action to defer payments on slap and good loan. Again, that one's mine. Um, at the council meeting, there was some talk without naming uh, uh, who they were talking about. I had a feeling I knew who they were talking about. You can draw whatever conclusions you want, would like on that. Uh, unfortunately, the council had no, no power to do anything at that time. Um, I am a, a customer of Slap and Good. 
Uh, I know Shannon, and I had lunch up there a week or two ago, and she came over and sat down because she knows who I am. And we talked and talked about COVID, et cetera. Long story short, uh, I said, what's what's happening why you know when are you moving in and she alluded to the fact that there were some issues that she was trying to resolve with the city and i said well just guessing with your current covid situation and everything else this is probably causing a financial hardship on you because i know you're making payments Ms. cooper has made the statement to me and to this board that slapping good is current on their payments uh, I feel they'll be good for this city. And she said, yes, I'm making payments to the EDC. I'm making rent payments, et cetera. And yes, it's, it's a burden. And I said, with your permission, I will approach this board and suggest or ask for a motion to defer your payments, your repayments to the EDC until a month after you reopen, you're allowed to open and you get all the items resolved, be it city or fire marshal, whatever. So I'm asking for a motion to defer slapping goods payments uh, until repayments to the EDC from this point forward until a month after they uh, receive their CFO and open for business. I'll make the motion for the payments to be deferred. Mr. Johannes, thank you. Warwick second. And Mr. Warwick second. Discussion? I was there today. I was in camp all day today on business and we ate there. And I saw her and, you know, said, we're looking forward. And you could tell, you know, she's definitely super stressed out and wanting to get here. And and I didn't mention any of this. You know, I just was talking to her. So I'm sure it'll be greatly appreciated. And they have a great business. And I was with some of the officials from camp today. And they were all talking about what a great business and that's been to their community. So well, I think I really you, this is the right thing to do. Yeah, I think this is the right, right thing. thing. I, I have a question. I They've been trying. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Susan. I have a question. So do we have any idea whatever the hangups are with the city as far as permits how long those might take i personally don't and it's not this board's business to interfere with that miss cooper is the head of the edc might want to ask around or you may have knowledge with shannon that i don't there are discrepancies on both sides i will tell you though that i i do think that it's a strong business mm -hmm. and that we definitely want it here and probably anything we can do. The fact that she started making her payments when she didn't have a place, to me, said a lot. And she has been making those payments. So that's all I can tell you. She's been making her payments. There are discrepancies on both sides. And we need to get it resolved. OK. Further discussion? I just want to say one thing. Uh, they've been trying to come over here before the COBA hit. And they looked at places. Uh, Future EDC director was working hard to try to get them in here too, and some certain things that hit them just backwards and backwards and forwards. And then this COBA hit too, but they're still trying. They're still doing the right thing, mm -hmm. and I think by us doing this here is the right thing. And they will be coming to Gunborough City, hopefully by the end of this year. If everything goes right, and they're, they're because they're a great business. They're you know they just haven't been able to get the dominoes in the right spot here yet, and they're here. They're fine. It's just getting them, getting them all, all the papers signed right over here to fall into place, and they'll be here. So I just think this is this is the right thing for us to do here. Yeah. I agree, and, and let me reiterate: this was not something she approached me on. I approached her because yeah. uh, I had heard a little bit about the situation, and I've, I've been wondering anyway. So I think anybody else in her situation probably would have said, "Hey, can I hold my payments?" But she didn't. Right. That speaks volumes. Uh, further discussion. Hearing none, we'll vote for my right. Johannes, yes. Collard, yes. Ball, yes. Lawrence, yes. Kyle, yes. Foster, yes. Wyrick, yes. Unanimously accepted. Uh, Ms. Cooper, I assume you can reach out to her and make that? Yes, I will. Thank you. Item nine, update on bylaw status, results from workshop. Uh, the results of the workshop were that this board as a whole is going to present Mr. Foster's list to council. Uh, Mr. Foster, if you will formally submit that to Ms. Cooper. Um, and I will forward it on to council. And she yes. can forward it on to council. They can 
they, that probably needs to be put on as an agenda item for their council meeting, I would guess. Uh, I want to make it covered that we, we did what that we were asked. Okay, so that concludes item nine. Item 10, discuss take action, action to adopt budget amendments per attached. There are no attached. What we're discussing here is a budget amendment in the amount of, and if my math is correct, $140,000, $240,246 to be allocated in the now 11 or 12 line items uh, per Ms. Ball's P&L spreadsheet update. Um, do I have a motion? A motion to um, accept the, uh, uh, how do you say it? Budget amendments. <laughs> the budget amendments for the um, uh, $140,246 $140, to each line item that was in deficit. Motion by Ball. Do I have a second? Second. second. Who seconded that? I think Mr. Johannes did Kyle too. Mr. Kyle did too, so that's fine. Mr. Kyle, go ahead. Mr. Kyle, uh, discussion? I would just call this 2021.1. Okay. Any objection to that? Who made that motion? Ms. Ms. Ball, you accept that as a friendly amendment? Call it Budget Amendment 2021.1? Yes. And Mr. Kyle, you seconded that. Of course. I assume you'll agree with your own friendly amendment. Yes. Further discussion? Hearing none, vote for my right, please. Johannes, yes. Kyle, yes. Ball, yes. Lawrence, yes. Kyle, yes. Foster, no. Wire, yes. Six to one, uh, motion passes. And Ms. Cooper will be presenting that to council at their next meeting. Uh, Ms. Ball, could you itemize that, correct your numbers, and send that to Ms. Cooper and copy the board, please? Yes. Item 11, within the next week or so, hopefully. Item 11, discuss take action on farmer's market spon uh, sponsorship of $1,000. Do I have a motion? It's technically dead. Pardon me? We, since we didn't budget for the next four items, they are still tabled at this time. Uh, Ms. Cooper, what would the farmer's market sponsorship go under? Uh, marketing, advertising? Well, at this point, no, we were going to have a farmer's market, but at this point, we're too late because uh, of not having made this decision quite some time ago, and she has not... Without having a contract, she has not gone ahead and done any marketing or advertising or pulled together any booths, so we will not be able to do it. Okay, so this, this item is dissolved? However, I would recommend that we still do the one in October, so I just want you to keep that in your minds. Okay, item 12, 13, and 14 are the three uh, redevelopment grants. Yes that are currently tabled. Um, is it this board's opinion that they stay tabled because there are, is currently no money in the budget? Any disagreement with that? Item 12, 13, and 14 will remain tabled. Item 15, adjourn into executive session. We will now adjourn to executive session. Uh, the public is welcome to hang around if they want to. Uh, this could last anywhere from five minutes to five hours. So <laughs> I've, I appreciate your willingness to uh, to sit with us so far, but uh, I'd be surprised if you're here when we come out. It is 726. We're, uh, let's call it 725. We're adjourned into executive session. Thank you. Probably. We don't need.
לפני השווה.
at a later date. Robin, is the recording started again? Okay, we're reconvened into general session. Uh, take action on items from executive session. Let's do them in order, please. May I have a first motion? Uh, Collard, motion to approve the new Browning project, um, a loan for $200,000 on a 10-year note at 2% interest with the understanding that the purchaser's home will be used as collateral. And Ms. Cooper will look into the REDG money as a first option and reserves as a second option. I have a motion by Ms. Collard. Do I have a second? Ball second. I have a motion and second. Uh, I guess we have no discussion on this since we it was in executive session. We'll move straight to vote. Vote for my right, please. Johannes, yes. Collard, yes. Ball, yes. Lawrence, yes. Kyle, yes. Foster, yes. Wire, yes. Motion passes unanimously. Uh, item two, we have a motion, please. Motion to approve purchase of property on Main Street at $325,000. Motion by Collard. Do I have a second? Second by Johannes. Second by Johannes. No discussion. Vote for my right, please. Johannes, yes. Collard, yes. Ball, yes. Lawrence, yes. Kyle, yes. Walsh, yes. Weber, yes. Motion passes. Item seven, discuss take action on increasing the loan amount at Southside Bank, amount TBD with motion. Uh, we're going to table that at this time. Well, until we get the Techstar interest yeah, resolved. We are making a 90-day close on this. We are doing a 60-day, um, I always want to call it, uh, if there's, what's, the, what's the real estate term? Um, inspection period, yes. I always want to call it due diligence period, but it's called inspection period. We're asking for a 60-day inspection period at the end of the inspection period. Then we have our 30 days to close. That gives us 90 days. And okay. We may not agree with that, that, but that's what we're asking. Okay. Then I might suggest that we go ahead and have Ms. Cooper check with Southside about increasing the loan amount uh, with the understanding that we may be making a transfer. You might come up with a different amount from them. They might say, if I had 200000 I'd be happy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you ask Prosperity also? You have two banks. Ask them both for... Because we already have our loan with Southside, and we're just increasing it. You're just going to dump it into one payment. Did I say South... Did I say it right? Southside, Southside. you did. Southside. Okay. Uh, so do I have a motion to uh, increase the loan amount at Southside? By 325000 Okay. And then we'll still have 175 left in our account. Assuming that's 2%, that's still. Yeah. Okay, do I have a motion to that effect? Motion, uh, Collard, motion to increase the loan amount at Southside Bank by 500,000. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Ms. Johannes. Dis uh, discussion? Hearing no discussion, I'll move to vote from my right, please. Johannes, yes. Collard, yes. Ball, yes. Lawrence, yes. Kyle, yes. Foster, yes. Wyrick, yes. Motion passes unanimously. Motion to adjourn. Collard, motion to adjourn. Second. You're adjourned. Thank you all.